Hey, what is up guys? My name is Rosile and welcome back to another edition of my Modern House tutorial series. Now the house we'll be building today is really awesome as it comes equipped with a nice patio, balcony, and flower bed, as well as having a very spacious interior. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. First, we will start by laying out the foundation of the building using spruce planks. Once the foundation is in place, we will now raise all these planks up to make the walls 4 blocks high. Coming back to the front, we are now left with two small gaps at the middle divider, so let's replace the grass between these gaps with stone slabs. Then place three layers of black stained glass panes between the two wide gap at the left, and also place a door between the gap at the right. Next cover the window and door over with spruce planks. Now swinging over to the back right corner, remove 3 blocks from both sides of this corner as well as the corner block itself, and then fill in this gap with black stained glass panes. Next we will add in the floor and walls of the second floor, so start by covering over this front section with spruce planks. Then cover over the back section with spruce planks as well. Next we will start adding all the spruce walls for the second floor which will all be 2 blocks tall. Now with the walls up, we will fill in this front gap to the right with black stained glass panes, and then fill in this back section as well. And then add in two acacia doors between the gap at the middle here. Next we will add the quartz frame and roof to the building. So start by adding a 3 tall and 5 block long wall of quartz starting from the right of these acacia doors. Now wrap a layer of quartz blocks around to the back below the wall we just placed. Then wrap a layer of quartz blocks around to the back starting from the top of the quartz wall. Now fill in the remainder of this right side with quartz blocks. Then add a border of quartz blocks around the roof to cover over any of the planks, doors, and glass.
Next, fill in the remaining gap in the roof with quartz slabs. Also, add quartz slabs over this balcony section at the front left of the house. And then place black stained glass panes along the front of the balcony for a railing. Next, we will add a stained clay wall off the left side of the house. So start by adding two blocks of cyan stained clay off the corner and make this a total of 12 blocks long. Then we'll build the rest of this wall up to make it 8 blocks tall. Now go over two blocks and make another eight block tall wall, however only make it two blocks long at the front and back. Next add a row of stained clay along the top layer so these walls connect up. Then at the front, replace two rows of grass between these clay walls with stone slabs. And then add two doors on top. Now add two layers of cyan stained clay on top of the doors. And place black stained glass panes within the remaining gap. Now at the back, also replace the first layer of grass with stone slabs. Then place three layers of black stained glass panes on top. Then add a row of clay over this and add three more layers of glass panes on top. Next we will add a quartz wall to close off the left side of the house. So come to the back edge of this clay wall, go out two blocks, and place a quartz wall along the left side that is 10 blocks long. Now build this wall up so that it's 7 blocks tall. Once the wall is up, we will connect it to the clay wall by placing a row of quartz at the top layer for the front and back. Then close off the top of this section with quartz slabs. Now replace the grass between the gap at the front and back with stone slabs. and then fill in both of these gaps with black stained glass panes. Next we will decorate the front yard starting with adding bushes. So first add 4 leaves off the left side, then add 5 leaves off the side of the cyan clay wall, and also 5 off the right side. Now between the left and middle bushes, replace the grass with stone slabs.
Then between the middle and right side bushes, get rid of the first four rows of grass closest to the house and fill it in with stone blocks. Next, place spruce fences on top of the last row of stone to close off the patio area. Then remove the last three rows of grass between these bushes and place in coarse dirt. And now add your choice of flowers on the coarse dirt for a flower bed. With the exterior complete, we will now head inside. So the first thing we will do is replace the grass in this first room with spruce planks. Next, come over to the back of this stained clay wall, come over 4 blocks, and knock out a 2x2 two two gap. Replace the dirt with stone slabs, and place 2 doors on top. Now in this smaller room, we will replace the grass with bricks for the kitchen's flooring. Heading back into the main room, we will now add a staircase along the quartz wall, so count over 2 blocks from the window and add 2 quartz slabs. Then add 3 more rows of these slabs that go up a block each time. At the top of the staircase, add a 2x2 two two platform of spruce slabs up to the window. Then connect spruce planks up to the stained clay wall, and make these go out an additional 2 rows from the platform. Now add black stained glass panes at the end of these planks for a railing. Then we'll knock out another 2x2 two two gap out 3 blocks from the end of the wall this time. Now replace the clay at the bottom with stone slabs, and place 2 doors on top. And with that, the main structure of the interior is now complete. As per usual, I will leave any furniture and decoration of the house up to you guys. However, I will quickly show you how I did mine as an example. But that is going to be all for this Modern House tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as that would be much appreciated. And with that, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Better guys, bye bye.